What's up guys? So today is 24th October 2024 and currently we are in the London Open. This is the London session that I'm trading right now and gold is what I'm looking at at the moment. So you see gold has been correcting during the night, during Asia session we have seen a correction and uh, London session just opened so let's see how price develops during London session if uh, buyers or sellers will take control of the market right now right now we have reached uh, demand so uh, excuse me supply zone and uh, we see some indecision in the market but um, I think we will get a clearer picture soon enough when liquidity steps in and hits the market. Um, right now, I think we may get a reversal if buyers are stepping in strong. And what I'm looking for in this um, scenario right now is a big red engulfing candle showing me that sellers are stronger than buyers in the market right now. And um, until then, I won't take any sell positions. So, um, yeah, this is what I'm looking at on the gold at the moment. So Nasdaq has had a correction during the day, uh, excuse me, during the night. And um, we are now going back into supply zones over here. There's some gaps in the market with which price most likely will fill. So uh, right now I'll just observe how, uh, how Nasdaq reacts at the supply zone and uh, if we get a drop down to a demand zone I may look for buying please but uh, this is too early to tell uh, I'm still waiting on liquidity from the London session to hit the market and to give me a clear picture of who is in control of price right now so uh, yeah <clears throat> okay so right now we see some action in price price dropping from a five minute supply zone this may be a good buy opportunity but there is demand zones beneath so I may just wait for more sudden confirmation and we see gold as well gold is dropping from the 15 minute supply zone how does it look on the five minutes okay this is the five minute supply zone and uh, you can see gold dropping so if this candle is a big red candle and the next candle breaks this candle i will look for a sell opportunity on gold because then i anticipate that sellers are taking control of london session with liquidity coming in at 11 o'clock but let's see who is in control right now i don't know if buyers are in control or sellers so only time will tell Right now, the Nasdaq looks uh, bearish for a London session. We have, as I stated, hit this five minute supply zone and price is dropping from this zone. And you see this demand zone right here. If price reaches this area and goes through, then the next area for price to react at is this area right here. So right now we see some rejection at the uh, five minutes demand zone. Let's see what the next candle does. That will determine the outcome of this uh, setup. So right now on gold, we see sellers coming in and pushing price back down here. But um, we don't know if sellers has the upper hand right now. We have to see bigger red candles and more momentum on the seller side to take a sell position right now. So just wait and see. Patience. Okay. This candle forming right now is crucial for this um, this execution. If we get a big red candle right now. I'm going for a sell but it has to 
full week into the zone. For instance, hitting the 200 EMA and watching how it reacts on that impact. So this is a one minute area. I always watch these time zones to determine the execution and how price is moving. So this is uh, an uh, anticipation process. This is a way to read price action. Okay, this looks good. Let's see the reaction of the 200 EMA. It goes through this 200 EMA and hits this level. And I'm in for a, a sell. So as you can see from the one minute chart, sellers are in control of price. At the beginning of London session, you had buyers taking control of price, pushing it up. But you see liquidity hit the market at 10.30 almost. And uh, buyers and sellers, excuse me, have been in control. So this is my sign to trade for a sell. Most likely, yeah. Let's see what it does at this. So, in this scenario right here, it goes through this scenario. Okay, it's not that nasty. I'm in for a sell. So my entry was here. My exit will be here. Or excuse me, my stop loss will be here, and my exit point will be down here. Because there is there is gaps in the market, so this is my position as of right now. Sellers are taking control of price. So in the five minutes you see the 50 EMA has an effect on price and this is the five minute finance zone which I don't think will hold because we are so deep into the zone so I will only leave that zone. I will also trade both these and now we just look at the naked chart of what price action is doing. So during this trade we had a drop from the five minutes supply zone right here at the beginning of London session sellers came in strong into control of price we are now driving price down and the next area for price to have a reaction at is this five minutes the net zone so I will watch what price does at this zone and uh, may debate if I should exit or not that is a question we will let time answer. So uh, let's just be patient and wait and see. Now we are through the 50 EMA and we are moving towards the towards the bottom of the demand zone. So this is good. And you see there's a there's a gap here because there's no wick at this candle and no wick on this candle. And there's a wick on this candle, so there's a gap that needs to be filled at this area right here. This is a nice price action. There's a lot of movement uh, in London session, as you can see. There's also a gap right here. I don't know if we will see this type of movement down to the downside today. Let's just wait and see. Is gold doing something? No. It's still just consolidating around this area. And uh, we have other pairs like USD and MOC. It just hit the 
côté. Yes, it's about here to 15 minutes, the last zone right here. And we may see a continuation to the downside with, sell with the sellers taking control of price as they have right now. Or we may see a reversal of a huge spike of buyers coming right here because of this uh, this spike of buyers coming in at this point right here. So let's observe. Yes, this uh, trade is now into drawdown. Let's see if this candle can uh, break or not. And if not, then we are still moving towards the downside. So uh, there's a demand zone right here that we need to hold. But I don't think buyers have control of price right now. And uh, I'll just show you the new stop loss I have. It's already at the moment. So this is a one to one trade at the moment. But I am uh, I'm looking to take price down towards this area right here. I think sellers came in with such a strong momentum uh, in the open that uh, it will continue. But um, right now, buyers are showing that they have some uh, influence on price. But is it enough? Time will tell. Okay, so this trade may <laughs> go against me because uh, this demand zone seems to have held. This is actually crazy because um, we got so deep into the zone that I thought that we may just breeze through it with ease going down to the downside with sellers coming in strong. But as of right now, we see buyers engulfing this candle right here from the demand zone, which may signal a buy opportunity, and then we are still bullish for the day. So this momentum that came in may have been just a small correction in price before going to the upside uh, and bouncing off the demand zone. But um, this next candle is crucial for uh, determining the direction of this trade. And I will cut my loss short if uh, it moves against me still. But, uh, right now we see that buyers don't have a lot of momentum. So let's see if uh, sellers can drive the price back down. This is uh, looking good right now. So uh, price is dropping. And um, I think this zone may be invalid because of almost tapping the bottom of the zone. I usually delete zones like this and uh, look for the next zone. But uh, nothing is certain when trading price action, when trading in general. You just have to let the market be the determining factor uh, that you adapt to. Because you can't control the market, you can only adapt to, your, to the market and take the edge that you are into the market and trade based on the information that you see in front of you. And uh, luckily enough, the market behaves in patterns. It makes the same moves again and again. And um, when you study the charts and study price action long enough you will pick up on these patterns how price is moving and you will get better at determining the direction of price and where price are most likely to go next 
this comes with time, this comes with experience of being a student of the game, of learning how to trade. And uh, you can't skip the process, you can't, you can't take a shortcut. You, you have to put in the hours at the shorts, and you only do that if you can see the future. If you can see your own future, how your own future will play out, if you can picture that clearly and you trade based on a deep sense of why, then you will get a motivation and a drive to trade and it will snowball. You will start to become addicted to the game of trading. And um, an addiction doesn't necessi necessarily need to be a bad, an addiction can also be called a habit. So when you have built a habit of trading, trading, you just keep at it, keep at it, and you it snowballs. You get you get some good feelings of being a trader because you like you start to like the trade. You start to like seeing uh, greens, seeing your account grow, seeing trades play out the way you anticipated. This is a very rewarding feeling that you you will get addicted to, and uh, that is a good thing. So just keep at it when you are hitting those bad trades, those bad dates, just remember that you are in the game for a long haul. And um, that is how you eventually become a profitable and successful trader. So right now price is consolidating at this area. I hope sellers will uh, step in and take control of price once again only time will tell okay so right now price is dropping sellers are still in control of price as you can see so let's see if we can break this low right here and if we do so that's a good sign and we are moving towards the downside where price is bearish at the moment have the 50 and 200 EMA right right here which price will uh, most likely have a reaction at so if sellers are in such a strong momentum they should breeze past both these lines right here as well as this one signaling a downtrend okay so right now my anticipation is uh, was most likely wrong because you see a surge of buyers coming in right here and uh, this candle tried to push price back down but uh, buyers came in strong and pushed it up so if we don't get a big red candle soon this uh, means that buyers are in control of price so um, yeah we may need to cut, uh, cut this uh, loss short just to accept the wrong anticipation and um, take the loss but it's too early to say we must let the price develop with this candle and uh, let's say on the one minute chart if we break above this area right here we're officially in an uptrend excuse me we have broken uh, a structural point so uh, that's a sign that we are moving towards an uptrend there are still highs to be broken right here so when these highs are broken there's officially an uptrend so right now price is breaking out to the upside as you see and the trade is going against me so i will exit this trade if price reaches that area but let's see what price does at uh, the supply zone because there was a lot of sellers coming in at this zone and we may have a new reaction of this zone right here so uh, it isn't finished until we reach the demand zone or supply zone and we see a reaction but for those of you that uh, took the buy at the break uh, of that candle good job you did uh, 
you got a few pips if you exit now and you may over trade and get, uh, get even more so i'm talking about taking a buy here placing your stop beneath this and taking this way up here that may have been the move in line with the trend but um, i thought at the beginning of the london session sellers would come in stronger and push the price back down but um, not certain and that's what trading is it's a bet on your on your intuition your feel for the market who is in control buyers or sellers and uh, be patient wait for your execution and learn with every trade so this is how i learned to lose and next time hopefully i will take a better trade in line with the trend waiting on more confirmation of, of uh, who is in control control of price but as you can see right now the buyer's momentum isn't that strong as of right now because you had this candle okay that's a good candle but now you have three candles to push price up and you only need this red candle to push the price down to this level so with that in mind we may see sellers come in strong and push the price back down again So there's liquidity up here because people have a stop loss up here and when people have stop loss up here price is attracted to that area and price most likely or in some cases it goes up to that area grabbing liquidity from that area and then it moves to the downside so you see that happen a lot that is called a liquidity grab for you those of you that don't know and um, I don't think price will go up here and grab liquidity before going to the downside because of the seller momentum that took place right here. So just uh, wait for this area to get tapped and let's see if there's a reaction at that area. Okay, so what, is, what do I read from price at the one minute chart on the NASDAQ right now? I see that from the moment I enter the trade, price has been going back up with these green candles, right? And in this area, you saw five green candles in a row. So we had five minutes where buyers took control of price. But look how long they took to drive price up to this point. They used five minutes. And in this minute, we see sellers pushing price back down in and you see buyers used two minutes to push price from this point to this point sellers used one minute this is a indication for me that sellers are stronger in the market because they push price back down to this level in one minute compared to what buyers did in two minutes so when you read the candles look at the size of the candles to determine who is in control of price and that is my take right now let's see how many red candles we need to get back on this level um, if this candle is a big red candle this is a good sign because okay now we are almost at this level with this candle so this next candle will tell me if buyers or sellers are in control of price right now now we see some indecision in the market because this side is uh, the same as this side this is a doji candle i would con i would consider this candle as a doji candle but this candle is a red and this is the, there are five red candles that drove uh, price to this level so this is not a good sign because now you see that sellers they used Five minutes to drive price back down here which means that buyers are in control of price right now so um, keep this in mind we still have two big red candles right here so 
there is still some sellers in the market but if this area gets breached i will exit the trade this is how my trade looks as of right now so uh, if this area gets breached i will exit the trade so right now on the five minutes you have seen that we have an upward buying pressure where buyers are pushing price up but they are using a lot of time doing so so we may see a big rejection with a big red candle soon if sellers come in so right now we see sellers pushing price back let's see if we get deep into this zone okay so right now we see sellers taking back control of price and on the five minute we see this candle right now pushing down R. So uh, if this candle engulfs both these candles and this candle, this is a clear sign that sellers are still in control of price, driving it down with one candle. So uh, this may have been a correction, we don't know yet. And uh, Yeah, there's some indecision in the market right now. So at the one minute chart, we see that we failed to make a higher high right here. And now we made a lower low than this one. So price is now going towards the downside. And if we break this, area right here we have broken this low and this is a good sign for price to go back down let's see how the reaction is at the 200 ema if there is a reaction at all before price breaches this area right here finally we see sellers coming in strong pushing the price back down we had some consolidation or ranging market right here and finally we see the big red engulfing candle taking control of the direction of price let's see if this red engulfing candle can go deeper into the zone and close like a big candle that's a good buy Okay, so this trade is not looking so good at the moment. We have a lot of consolidation in this area right here, which was uh, unanticipated. My prediction for um, this trade was that the supply zone was strong and sellers come in. But we had buyers come in at this level, bringing price back up and then consolidation in this area so soon price will break out and as of right now i'm not certain in what direction or if we spike this level take out liquidity above this area and then go back to the downside because you see gaps in the market right here and if you look at the one hour chart we see no gaps in the market up here there's only gaps below that needs to be filled, but we don't know when these gaps are going to get filled. So, um, yeah, this is just an anticipation. And you can see the 200 EMA is above price, which indicates a sell at the moment. But, um, yeah, probably should have bit, been a bit more patient with uh, taking this trade because... Uh, at the 15 minutes, there wasn't a lot of confirmation for me to take this sell other than this candle, but it didn't close down here, which I uh, saw at the 5 minutes. This was the 5 minute candle and the 15 minute closed after a strong rejection. So we may see price move back into the supply zone and then drop. Let's just, let's just wait and see. Okay, so as of right now, price is making its way up. Let's see what happens at this supply zone. I'm currently in a trade, which is in drawdown. 
and my stop loss is above this candle right here. So if price goes to this area, I'm out of the trade. And it seems like it will. So um, we can't win them all. Um, I had a reason for entering this trade and it didn't play out like I thought it would so that's okay we go on to the next setup and look for other opportunities once uh, I come out of this trade okay so I'm out of the trade that was a $30 loss which is not good but um, we managed Let's see what price does next. Now we have a goal, which is another instrument that will break out soon, either to the upside or the downside. We don't know yet. But as of right now, we are looking at gold and NASDAQ. And you see NASDAQ reaching for this high right here. Let's see if it can take it out. And if it does, we're in a bullish momentum. I still think this supply zone is valid and uh, this may be a liquidity grab before going to the downside. Let's just wait and see. But as of, as of right now, buyers are in control of this market, driving the price up. Okay, so I just spotted a demand setup at the Euro USD currently in this trade. It looks like this at the moment. This is the trade we are in at the moment. You saw the five minute demand zone getting tapped by this candle, and uh, you may saw it under it. Now we see a big green engulfing candle forming at the five minute uh, chart. But uh, we, bro we broke uh, above this high and this high right here we just tapped it so let's see what price does next if you look at the higher type time frame you can see that we are breaking highs so we are in, we are in an uptrend as of right now from this point onward we have been in an uptrend as you can see price has been going down and this high is now broken by this candle it just wicked above it so I anticipate price going higher as of right now, but uh, it's not certain yet. So let's see how the 15 minutes and five minutes looks like in uh, about 30 minutes. I'm also watching gold and NASDAQ at the moment. So let's see if price is acting the way I wanted to. So right now I hold for the close above these candles. But we didn't have a close above these candles, so let's see what the next candle does. If we get a green engulfing candle here, I'm happy. And uh, this trade is going in my favor. Right now, it does look uh, good. Okay, so right now we are looking at our trade, the Euro USD. It has been moving against us, and uh, we are currently in this demand zone right here. So let's see if this demand zone hold right now on the one minute chart we see price fighting against the sellers buyers are fighting against the sellers can buyers reach this level if they can breach that level buyers are still in control of price because then we have used two candles to to engulf these two candles and that is a good sign so this is not a good sign because buyers weren't able to engulf these two candles and we may move towards the downside but let's see what this candle does if we can reach above this candle now okay doesn't seem like that at the moment but i'm not sure 
buyers are still and sellers are still fighting for prices of cannabis. Price just reached that level. Okay, and we go to the next candle. Okay, and buyers take out this one. Let's just wait and see. So this is good right now. Price is making new highs. We just wicked above this area. Which is good. So we have some rejection at the uh, five minute, uh, 15 minute and five minute demand. Excuse me, five minute demand, which is here. Price is reacting at the moment. So let's see what um, this candle and the next candle can do. Can we push price back up? Okay, so right now on the Euro USD, we see price dropping from uh, my entry. And uh, if this candle closes below this candle, I might be out of this trade because, uh, yeah, I don't think it will hold. So that is two losses today. That is two losses today. We took a loss on NASDAQ, uh, which was an um, entry on a sell at this level. Turned back up and took out liquidity here. So let's see if NASDAQ continues to drop. If gold continues to drop as well. Because uh, I anticipate a correction. If we get a strong red engulfing candle on gold right now, I might take this sell opportunity. So right now you see Euro USD is dropping to this demand zone. Let's see what happens here. If this can hold. And. Uh, yeah, I will keep my eye out on gold and NASDAQ today. Right now, I see gold dropping. Let's see if it drops below the 50 EMA. If so, I will take a sell position at this area. Because of the strong seller momentum coming in. And uh, this demand zone being taken out. If this demand zone gets taken out, we may move towards the downside into this area. It may be too early to tell right now. I'm just a look on the 15 minutes. Okay. Seeing this is a demand zone. If we drop into this demand zone, let's see what happens. But right now, sellers are in control of price. Now we have reached my zone. Let's see if it goes further down below this area. Yes, it does. Okay, I'm in for a sell on gold. Right here. And I'll put my stop loss above this area right here. Because if price goes back up there, my anticipation was wrong. But right now we see gold moving. Let's see if we can take gold down to this area right here. So as you can see, gold tapped just below, which is a sign that sellers are in control of price right now. I'm anticipating a move towards the downside right now. Okay, see price moving. And we have a huge push towards the downside now. If we do so, that's a good sign. 
for gold in terms of uh, being bearish on gold today because we have gaps here we also have some gaps here some gaps in the market leads to get filled okay so right now we see gold moving towards the downside we had a big red candle here the next candle spiked up closed the gap from this uh, candle the previous candle and then moved down so this is a good sign because this means that the gap is filled meaning that price won't go back up here uh, most likely and uh, this means that uh, this is the next next gap in the market right here and uh, this is where my take profit is at this uh, gap so let's see if gold fills that gap before uh, before maybe going back down to this area right here where's the not there's another gap in the market here to here is a gap as well okay this candle is uh, crucial for the direction of price let's see what happens with this candle if i lose this trade this will be the third loss in the day and um, i will take my uh, take my eyes off the market today if that is the case and do something else and maybe try to trade the new york session later in the day so um, let's hope gold bless us today with a uh, move towards the downside and um, let's get back to break even at least that's my goal right now <clears throat> okay so now we see price moving against us let's see if sellers are coming in strong or if buyers are taking control of price right now this is uh, currently not a good sign but we haven't broken the previous red candle yet so um, as you can see from this area right here we made a higher high right here and then we made a lower low which means that price may want to go up, go up to this area and then drop this is a supply zone as you can see and price right now is starting to move close into the zone or deep into that supply zone which means that uh, this supply zone may not hold and we are out of the trade so currently not looking good buyers pushing price up right now so my anticipation for this trade was that since price had a strong surge of sellers coming in here breaking this low we may continue to the downside but uh, price wasn't ready yet as you can see we should have waited for more confirmation and um, as you can see here we hit the 15 minute demand zone right here which um, which pri price bounced from as so of right now this candle engulfs this candle and um, that's a buy sign actually so um, I think we may get stopped out of this trade if sellers aren't taking control soon no, we're out of this trade so today we have lost almost 70 dollars the first was on nasdaq 30 dollars the second was U euro usd almost 18 dollars and then you had this trade on gold which uh, was 22 dollars so today has been a bad day for me in the market not because of uh, wrong anticipation necessarily but uh, the execution has been bad i have been hasty in my execution taking trades before confirmation before 
strong enough confirmation considering the demand zone right here and considering the long time price used to consolidate so yeah this was uh, this gold trade it still hasn't stopped me out here but since my broker has fees i got stopped out so yeah let's see how this candle closes Okay, so right now we took a sell on Koi. As you see from the one minute chart, we hit a supply zone with a big red engulfing candle after that. And that was my signal for me to enter this decision. Let's see how oil, oil will behave in the next minutes. Um, this pair is pretty volatile and uh, spikes are happening fast so you can be out of this trade really fast if you don't pay attention so uh, this fits my criteria for a sell because we had this supply zone being tapped on the one minute with a big strong engulfing candle after that and as you see oil has been dropping all day since the london open so i think we may see oil drop down to this level right here because there's a gap in the market at this level you see the gap is here so let's see if oil continues to drop or if it goes against me but I don't think it will since we saw strong rejection at this area and we have this engulfing candle it has to close ideally below this candle and then we are certain this trade will go into our favor so let's stay patient this will be the last trade i take during london session and uh, we will see how it plays out so this is good oil is dropping as anticipated let's see if we get an even stronger push towards the downside i think so i think oil will drop hard to it because it has dropped a lot during london and uh, we had a correction incoming because oil reached high level past this past month you can see from the 22nd of october until this area the oil has been uh, going up and a correction was needed but um, we are in an uptrend as of right now because we broke this so this is a correction a candle trend move um, because of the bearish day so uh, if you're trading this in the long term you may look for buy opportunities because there's a huge gap here to be filled and uh, oil may want to go up here and time will tell the oil, oil trade it went the way i anticipated but it tapped this zone before filling in the gap so i i was stopped out of the trade uh, when this happened, I uh, wasn't at my computer, so I didn't ha uh, had the, I didn't have the chance to manage the trade. Otherwise, I would have taken my exit here, and I would have taken a new entry for a sell position uh, when price hit this area. But my anticipation of price prices direction was correct. My execution was a bit hasty, and. Uh, uh, we saw price drive uh, draw back up into the supply zone and dropped after that and i took a sell position on gold um, the reason being that we had the following supply zone being tapped and we had a strong rejection from that supply zone you can see the strong rejection so i waited on this candle to close below this candle which it did right here and then I took my sell position 
uh, anticipating gold uh, driving towards the downside and silver stepping in strong which they now are doing uh, currently pushing price down here I may look to take price all the way back down to this area right here um, the reason being there is a gap right here which needs to be filled and we are such in such a strong bearish decline sellers have a lot of momentum right now so this trade will be my fifth trade today I had four losses and this is the fifth trade um, let's see if uh, this trade can make up for our losses today I hope it can and uh, that will be great so we'll take a look at oil this trade is just crazy you see the drop I went in for a sell at this position, it spiked up, took me out, and then dropped hard from this supply zone right here. Imagine being in a trade right now, let's say this was your, let's say this was your entry, and this was your stop loss imagine being in this trade right now potentially taking it all the way back down here because of the gap that, that would be a crazy trade that's almost like i want to uh, five to one Yeah, almost a 5 to 1 risk reward. That would, would have been a, a massive trade. This is what happens in trading risk. So you have to have thick skin and uh, just get good at reading price action and execute on the, at the right time. Timing is everything. Right now we see gold continue to drop, we have some retracements at this demand zone, but uh, <coughs> it won't hold, and we're going down for time will, will show. Okay, so right now we see gold hitting the supply zone, and reversing from that supply zone. We had a minor retracement into the supply zone before dropping down again. And this time I think don't think this zone will hold this demand zone right here. This is a 15 minute demand zone. You see how price reject rejected of this zone and bounced back into the, the supply zone on gold. Well now it's going to the downside and this is a beautiful setup on gold right now. Absolutely beautiful. This is textbook. You had a retracement here, boom, buyers came in, made a supply zone. Then sellers came in strong and dropped the price beautifully, beautifully into this zone. And it bounced just like that. And it bounced again from the first supply zone. And now we are moving towards the downside. And uh, let's take out this demand zone right here and go through this one. So it will look something like this. Or it may go here. here and here one of those okay so now let's just uh, watch and observe okay so right now we see that price is bouncing up the supply zone and uh, it's going towards the downside so this is a beautiful setup as I stated with a bounce of the 15 minute demand zone back into the 15 minute 5 minute supply zone and going down here on a 5 minute supply zone bouncing back up and then going down through this zone this is like like a ball you just bounce off the ground literally it moves down up but not as much 
it moves here and then it goes down again. So let's see how far we can take price to the downside. This is uh, extremely beautiful price action in the New York session as of right now. You see at the beginning of the London session, which is this blue line right here, we didn't have a lot of liquidity at all on a Thursday. That's uh, abnormal to say the least because look at what happened yesterday. So much li liquidity in London session. And in this London session, there was only a slow build up to grab liquidity from this area, go into this supply zone and bounce right down or crash from the supply zone. And um, the crash happened at the New York stock open. That's what I'm talking about. The New York stock open always has some craziness to it. There's always liquidity hitting the market at exactly 1530 every day. And that is the New York stock open, which tells me that there is a lot of institutional players that place their trades at that moment at the open including every other trader than, than institutional traders. They trade at the same time because of this volatility, because of this liquidity in the market. And today we didn't see big wicks in, in the buyer's direction. We only saw sellers come in and take control of price. You probably saw, I didn't, I didn't watch the, the whole open live. I only got bits of it and I saw some up and down movements on a candle at the five minute at least there was some uh, waking around but yeah the story of price has been uh, told by sellers uh, when the New York stock open uh, happened and uh, one hour later buyers came in pushing price back up because they like the price at the, this area and they drove and sellers came in and are now driving the price of gold back down because a correction was uh, due to happen because of this all-time high level right here this is the all-time high level of gold and um, we are still in a bullish uptrend long term but uh, on the shorter time frame a correction was bound to happen and it happened yesterday with this drop this was during uh, London session and the whole day and um, Asia pushed the price a little bit a little bit up to London as well and in New York the price went to the downside so let's see if uh, the price has any ambition of going here today And if they do, we need a lot of liquidity in the markets in the next hours. So uh, there's still four hours until uh, liquidity dies down. So uh, in about uh, the next two hours, we should see some more movements on gold. Right now we see sellers pushing the price down to the demand zone and you saw that on the five minute you had a demand zone right here that price just broke through on the 15 minutes it uh, looks like this so um, it's going to hit this zone probably going beneath this candle and uh, maybe we are going further down it depends on the seller's momentum downwards into the zone so let's just watch and observe. Right now we see liquidity grab in the market. Um, price just broke this high of the demand zone and uh, is grabbing liquidity of, up from this area. But uh, this play, this trade didn't play out the way I anticipated. I anticipated a strong move towards the downside right here. Instead of going down here, price started to 
consolidated bit and then buyers came in at around 18.30. Buyers are now in control of price, breaking this high, breaking this high. And uh, let's hope this uh, supply zone holds. It also has a decent resistance area where you can see this blue line. This is a resistance, you see price bounced here, it bounced here, it had a reaction around this level at several places. So this level is an important area for price. And uh, we still have some gaps in the market to fill down here, but uh, it doesn't look like price will go down there today. And uh, this may be a continuation to the upside if it breaks this important supply zone. And this would be a hard pill to swallow, considering I took the trade down to this level without exiting the trade. And uh, this would have been almost a hundred dollar win for me, which is a lot for my account. So uh, it's a hard pill to swallow this trade if it uh, doesn't go in my favor. But this is trading. This is how you learn. This is how you learn to take what you can off the table when you have the chance. Because uh, this is so irritating, right? The price going in the direction you anticipated or for it to reverse all the way back to your break even point. This is extremely irritating. So uh, in order for you to avoid that in the future, take something off the table when you have profits and uh, or close the whole position at uh, important areas, key areas. But you don't know when uh, this shit is happening because look at look at look at the drop. Price dropped extremely hard during these four candles and uh, you could have the same scenario as oil had with a continuation to the downside but you didn't you had a bounce and then price went back up so let's hope price goes back down time will tell okay so today we saw gold drop at the beginning of the new york stock open it dropped quite nicely, quite significantly to this area right here, and then it bounced up. I've been holding this trade all the way. In hindsight, I should have just taken my profits down here, but uh, I held on. So uh, let's hope that price continues to the downside. I will hold this trade during the night, so there's an intraday trade. And uh, hopefully Asia session is, is bearish and uh, we can uh, take my profits off the table. That is my, uh, my hope for this trade. Let's see how it plays out and uh, we continue tomorrow.